right we've been making a difference in this earth that's why the devil tries to wear out worshipers and intercessors we're making a difference we have been we didn't start yesterday we didn't fall off the turnip truck yesterday bro we've been around the mountain about 500 times dude 
we've done stuff for the Lamb of God that bears eternal fruit on the other side. Somebody say, yes, Lord, oh my God. Wow, I love it so much, man.
we sing you our little lovely song tonight, Lord. We sing to you our little simple melody for all that you did on the cross. You gave your life, gave your life for me, gave your life for thanking you, Jesus. My simple little melody, I delight in you. You gave your life for me, I'm very grateful, Lord. You gave your life for me, I'll never get over it, Lord. Uh, yeah. You gave your life for me, oh my God. You gave your life for me, I will never get over it.
And Father, it's our simple prayer tonight. Teach us about forever, Lord. I know a thimbleful, but I'd like to know a lot more, Lord. That age after age, as the age of time ends, the millennial reign starts, the thousand year reign of Christ. Oh my God. Lord, let us understand and peer into eternity that we, we know the fruit that is born, eternal fruit in worship and prayer and intercession. People who gave their life for you, Lord. The highest place is under Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Wow, for all those that served you, Lord, wow. Fruit with eternal benefits. Ah, fruit, fruit. You said be a fruit inspector. A good tree can't bear bad fruit, and a bad tree can't bear good fruit. Lord, I love it. So we are fruit inspectors. We want to bear fruit for your presence, your glory, and our destinies, Father. So Matt Gilman, in his 20s, wrote a song, which Harry, Harry's going to be praying out, Psalm 42. He said, my soul long and even faint for David's words for the courts of the Lord. Lord, my heart and my flesh cry out to you. Psalm 84, verse 11, grace and glory, no good thing will you withhold from those who seek your faith, and just as a deer pain, oh my God, for the water <laughs> So pants my soul for you, oh God, and just as a dear man, my God, for the water brook. So pants my soul for you, my soul, yeah, my soul. of the Lord, Lord, my heart and my flesh cry out for you, oh, I cry out for you, oh God, yeah, you're my son. Get ready. 
can ready the bridge. I set my heart on the journey, the pilgrimage. I set my heart on the pilgrimage now Through the valley of weeping I will go I set my heart on the pilgrimage Till I appear before God in Zion I set my heart on the pilgrimage now Through the valley of weeping I will go I set my heart on the pilgrimage Till I appear before I set my The scripture records in Psalm 119, I set my heart on the pilgrimage, Lord. I will sing my songs to you. We will make up our songs. In the house, in the journey of my pilgrimage, I will be singing songs in the day, songs in the night. Because see, I set my heart on the pilgrimage. It's a journey. I'm not just trying to get to one place. I'm living the lifestyle of intimacy and worship day by day. Just like a little boy, a little girl, I just keep asking questions in between my singing and my prayer and gazing at his beauty. It's a wonderful thing. Psalm 27, David said one thing, then he divided it three ways, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Lifestyle, presence-based living. B, he said, I want to gaze at your beauty. He had a kind. I said, Lord, how did you know? David, how did you know? To gaze on the beauty of the Lord. And then while you're gazing, guess what? You can ask questions. You can inquire of the Lord. And he answers. Just as a deer pen for the water. So for you.
Come on, Pastor Harry. I faint for the chords of the Lord. you're my son, my shield, grace and glory. You're my son and my shield you give. Grace and glory. No good thing do you withhold to those that seek for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Lord, tonight we confess to you we've, there's a longing in us for you. The psalmist said it this way, God the deer panting for the water brook and Lord, we just say yes there's a longing in us got a longing a thirsting as it goes on to say for you for the living God Lord to walk with you to know you to experience you the thing that Kent was just singing about the pilgrimage of of walking with you God we just say it today our souls continue to thirst for you to long for you the psalmist said, wow, when am I going to appear before the Lord? Wow. God, there's something longing, crying inside of us. God, for weeks and months, I will say, God, that there's something longing. There's a longing in my inner man. For those courts of the king, for that intimacy, that meeting up with you, connecting with you, interacting with you, God in the place of intimacy, in the place of worship, in the place of intercession, Lord, in the place of giving and receiving and sharing and listening, Lord, our, my heart is longing. Ah. Lord, like the deer is panting for the water yeah. in the water brooks, yes. Lord, as, as we thirst, we long, we hunger, God, I'm crying out to you this day, God, as wonderful, as great, as beautiful, as you have been to me, God, I am a grateful man. God, I'm so grateful for the measure of the life of God that I understand and experience and walk in. Wow. I'm so grateful, God. I'm so thankful. God, you welcomed me when I was your enemy. You welcomed me, God, when I was so far away. And midstream even, God, when I screwed things up so much, you longed for me and wooed me and drew me. And Lord, I'm a grateful man. I'm a satisfied customer. But God, there's a deep, deep longing in my inner man for more of you. As that deer pants for the water, God, tonight my heart is longing for you. I'm thirsting after you, as he says in verse 2. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Lord, as much as I experience you, it causes a greater thirst inside of me. God, with every drink, I just want more. With every feeding, God, I just want more.